Maynard. And Stallion going low and high, altering the strength and the target. And it's Stallion working over the left arm. The sound of Stallion knows how to use his own body as a weapon. Driving that kneecap right into the tricep. And again. Payer puts heavy pressure on his opponents, but Adam Stallion is more than capable of doing the same. That's what makes this match very intriguing.
changes his feet to a different position. They swapped spots, and now it's Painter who might try to superplex. Stallion holding on. These two have been on the ropes for what seems to be an eternity. Who's gonna fall first? Oh my goodness! Painter's backbreaker to Stallion was devastating along that top turnbuckle. But I would have to argue that Stallion's hip took most of that damage. Either way, they're both hurt and they're exhausted. Which one of these two will walk out of Woodstock? Tag Team Turmoil with the win. Painter able to stand first. Stallion very close to standing up at exactly the same time. Strike for strike, it's Stallion with the uppercut. Painter with a knee, raising across the left shoulder. Spinning elbow by Stallion. was that? Stallion can't believe it. Even asking the official, can I win or not? Back and forth, Patrick. Painter, begging for help from the fans on one side of the ring. Can Painter still fight on? Stallion sends Painter for the ride. Up and under. But Painter can't respond in enough time to try to score with a paint combination. Both men's bodies have suffered and have taken a toll right in. This is a grueling test right here. A test of wills and endurance. You would think His back's been hurt, and apparently this match has been stopped by the official. Painter apparently will be declared the winner by a ref stoppage, and uh, there's a lot of officials checking up on Adam Stallion right now. Uh, I don't know what to think of that.
There's a lot of confusion. I think the fans were under the belief that this match was stopped. But Woods ended up counting the three anyway. Trying to sort that.